Tired of spending money and ripping packs and not getting the players you want? Head over to DVDJ.com for the cheapest Madden coins ever. Use code SMACKEM for 10% off your purchase. Hey, yo, it's the smack em in the face, Wayne6578, bringing you guys another great Madden NFL 20 tip video. And this one is a special one. Today I'll be showing you Madden NFL's 20 best running scheme. This running scheme was showcased in the recent Madden Classic in which Sirius Mo won. I will be going over four great Madden 20 run plays. These plays are very overpowering and if you have trouble running the ball, fear not, your prayers will be answered. This Madden Classic run scheme will be a two part video. I will break down two run plays per video. That's a total of four plays. I will go over also how to set up your depth chart for the play's maximum potential. Let's get into it. This is part one of the Madden Classic Run Scheme video. We will be breaking down two run plays of four. The four run plays are in the I form tight formation and all four plays are in the Miami Dolphins playbook. The plays are halfback lead, strong stretch, 26 duo, and halfback power. The two plays we will go over today are the halfback lead and the strong stretch. Two great overpowering run plays. For the setups, your running back must be a beast. I'm using Todd Gurley for this video. Your tight end one needs to be fast and have run blocking of at least 70 and above. Your fullback, which will be your lead blocker, on mostly every play needs to be fast and needs to have a lead blocking ability of 50 and higher. The higher the better. Lastly, this formation has one wide receiver. You can substitute a tight end in this position for better blocking or just have a tall receiver with run blocking of 50 or better. Let's take a look at the halfback lead. This play can be ran on any side of the field. Unlike the stretch and the halfback power, I like to run to the wide side of the field. When running the halfback lead, you want to first not press turbo. Next, you want to stay on the outside hip of your fullback which is your lead blocker. Now all the plays can be flipped, but when we flip this play, now we want to not press turbo and stay on the inside hip. Let's go over a few examples of how to run this play. Stock and flipped. Pro tip, know how to stiff arm to maximize your yards gain. Next, we have the strong stretch. We run this play a certain way. We want to get to the outside, so we stay on the outside hip of our lead blocker. We also always look to see if there's block shed and if we have to cut it back inside. Once we are on the outside, we use stiff arms, jukes, spin moves to maximize our yardage gained. I always run the stretch to the wide side of the field. This play flipped is not as good because the wide receiver is not on the side to provide an extra blocker downfield. You can motion him and use him, but that I feel gives away the play. But when we run it flipped, we just get it to the outside and make moves on the defenders. Oh, it's that smack him in the face, Wayne6578, bringing you guys another Madden NFL 20 offensive tip video. And today I will show you how to stiff arm and arm bar correctly. 